Oh yeah, it's the end of the world. Two scoops of hallelujah, one scoop of praise the Lord. This other mug says, go, Jesus, go. 22, 74, 22. So what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna read you some Bible. That's before I start, remember, May is the fifth month, 2022. Uh, on the Jewish calendar, a Torah calendar, we're in the second month, and we're in 2022. So the fives are cool, the twos are cool, the 2022s are cool. God's got patterns, he's got numbers, he's got a book literally called Numbers. Hello, okay? So we're gonna try and find his patterns. He's got patterns. He's a God of order. Just to remind you, Numbers 911, the emergency uh, phone number, 911 in the book of Numbers. Hello, what's your emergency? Oh, what does it say? Second Passover. Hello, what's up with that? Let's have fun with this, though. I'm going to read you a story, and I didn't want to write it all in advance. I just wanted you to come along with the story here. So let's have fun with the fives and the twos. What's one of the biggest rapture stories? It's Elijah and Elisha. Okay. Okay, let me just kind of read it fast a little bit here, okay? So this is uh, chapter 1, verse 8. So they're talking about Elijah. So they answered him, a hairy man wearing a leather belt around the waist. And he said, it's Elijah the Tishbite. Then the king sent to him a captain of 50. So 50, 50 dudes. And then it mentions it's 50 again. 50 dudes. And then it mentions 50 again, and 50 again, and 50 again in verse 10. Whoops. Okay. And, and, and the, the first time, he blows up the 50 guys. The second guys, he blows up the 50 guys. The third group of 50 guys comes, go, whoa, whoa, don't blow us up. How many times is 50 recorded in my Bible? Let's get a red one. So 50 is written 15 times. When is second Passover? The 14th day of the second month, which is on May 15th. So there's your fives, and it's mentioned 15 times in my hard copy. I'm, I, I'm you know, uh, in chapter uh, one. Okay, okay. So that's pretty, whoa, wait a second. I see the patterns of fives there. Okay, let's go to, let's go now to second Kings. Let's go to 2 Kings chapter 2. After we just heard about the 50s, before it. Okay. So we got the whole story of Elijah and Elisha getting caught up in the whirlwind. But what happens before uh, he gets uh, taken up? Uh, okay, first of all, there's two of them. There's two of them. They both have the letter E. Like, what's up with that? Why do they, uh, well, you know. Oh, and E is the fifth letter of the alphabet. Okay, I'm kind of sloppy here, okay? But you've got the five over there. Oh man, my mic, I gotta, I gotta put my mic this way so I'm not bouncing around so much. Okay, so, hey, so the, the guy says, uh, do you know your master from over, do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? And he said, yes, I know. That's in verse 3 of chapter 2. In verse 5, they say, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from you today? Yeah, I know. You told me once. Yeah. Yeah, you said it twice already. Stop asking me. <laughs> and then uh, Elijah is telling him, Don't come with me. He's like, yeah, I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. And of course, uh, we. it says, Yeah, well, there's 50 witnesses there. Okay, so there's the 50 already over there after he's been asked twice. It's going, you know, okay. So it says the two of them, the two of them stood there, okay, and that's uh, in verse 7. So while the two of them stood there by the Jordan, Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water and divided it. So left and right division. Okay, where are we here? Yeah. So that the two of them crossed over, it says the two of them crossed over. Okay, the two of them crossed over on dry ground. 
in 2 Kings chapter 2. How many chapters does 1 Kings have? Chap it has 22 chapters in 1 Kings. How many chapters does Revelation have? It has 22 chapters. There are two books in the Bible that has 22 chapters. Do you see the patterns here? Now, after we see all these twos in 2 Kings chapter 2, um, and so it was when he had crossed over that Elisha said to Elisha, ask, what may I do for you? And he goes, you know what? Can I have a double portion? Can I have a double, a double, a double portion? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, you, you ask a hard thing, but you know, whatever. Okay. Then it happened. As they continued on and talked that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with the horse, horses of fire and separated the two of them, it says. Separated the two of them. And Elijah went up uh, by a whirlwind into heaven. And that's, and that's um, chapter 2, verse 11. 2 times 11 is 22. Uh, now, now, now I'm getting sloppy, but I, I think you guys can see the patterns here, right? And so Elijah's like, oh man, this isn't good. My father, my father. He says my father twice. The chariot of Israel and a horseman. So he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them in, you guessed it, two pieces. Let's put a big, big two over here. Okay. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the mantle Elijah had, uh, that had fallen from him and struck the water and said, where is the Lord your God? And when he also had struck the water, it was divided. As It, it was divided. So the water was divided two times. The first time, and then when he left it, he divided the water again with the mantle. And the story goes on, and they, 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 they talk to the 50 guys again. They talk to the 50 guys again. Um, and then after all the mocking and scoffing, how many bears come down the mountain? Two bears come down the mountain in chapter 2 of Second Kings. Cool stuff. Okay, so basically, we got a lot of fives. Let me just write that again. We got a lot of fives. We got a lot of twos. Okay, let me show you one more fun thing here. Before I show you this ridiculous comedic thing that maybe I shouldn't even show you, I want you to think, what is the best possible date in, in our generation to have the most possible twos in it and to, to show me after I've been so crazy about all the twos. What's the best possible date? The best possible date to show me in my face would be 2022, February 22nd, because that's got the most amount of twos in it in my generation that I'll ever see in my entire life. And so I go and make myself a turkey sandwich here today, and I see the expiry date on here, 2022, February 22nd. And I just look at it and go, oh, that's kind of silly. But, th but then I thought about it. I mean, this is the best possible combination of twos ever uh, to present. I'm never, we're never going to see that again. Now, it's just an expired mayo jar. I get it. But look, I think God's patterns, put, just put that aside. That's a comedy thing. Okay, so God's patterns are in his twos. I did a two hour and 22 minute and 22 second video talking about the twos. I really probably could have done a 22 hour video. I can see it now. I can see all the twos everywhere. We're in 2022. I don't know what else to say. We have second Passover coming up in the midst of May, in the middle. The good man comes at the full moon. It says in Proverbs 7, 20, uh, Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath, where two or three are gathered. There I am in the midst of you. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with you. The, the, the main thing about this video was to share the, the cool factor of the fives and the twos in the patterns of second kings. Okay? So, hey, I don't know. Hopefully it's May. Hopefully it's 2022. I hope it's the blood moon. I don't know. I don't know. We keep on looking. Okay, guys, take it easy. The Enrico inside of me is pumped once again. But if it passes, we'll pick up our cross and go. Okay, bye. Go, Jesus, go.